Hey everybody, Benji here, and I wanted to make a quick video to remind myself how to get a list of all the people who are in a chat live stream on YouTube. So here on the screen, I've got the live open for the Massachusetts Maritime Academy, Cape Cod Canal, and we're going to print out all the people who are in the chat here on the right, all the usernames, and we'll get them in the order that they arrived in the room. To do this, I've got a script here that'll help me out. First, I run my script and it'll tell me what to do. Open a live stream. We got that. Step two, copy the ID part of the URL and paste it to the end of the link we have below, youtube.com slash live chat slash video ID. So let's get that live chat link. Tab, paste it in. We got everything except the video ID. Back over to Cape Cod Canal. Copy the ID from the top. Paste it to the end of our live chat link. And now we should have just the chat. Yes. Click here and I do Control A, Command A to select everything that's on the screen. Copy that. that to a new file we'll call it uh, let's do canal.txt yes the copy paste does most of the work here now we have the chats from the beginning each with a timestamp and the username <coughs> and what they typed and space between them all this goes on for a little while not too many okay so we'll save that and now to get the names i'll run my script with canal.txt and it should print them out with an order. There we go. Four people in the chat. And Vanika Hart was in there first. Lucky it was number two and so on and so forth. Let's open up the script quickly just to see what it does. And it, it's real simple. I mean, again, all the work was done by the copy paste to get us this nice clean list. Get a little more space. Okay, bracket script. We have a template at the top. When when you run the script, it'll check how many arguments you gave it. Print out instructions. Otherwise, collect the names and print them in order. First, we read the file and build up a set with all the names and with a number for each name. Then sort that by the value inside the hash. And once it's sorted, go through the list, print out the number like we saw, and then print out the name. And reading the names is the most complicated part. Get an accumulator, empty hash table, and N is our counter for the order that people have arrived. Read each line in the file one at a time. If we're at the end, then we can stop and return the hash. Otherwise, check if we've got one of these timestamp strings. If you look over on the right, we are looking for things like 2.25 p.m. So if we got an a.m. or a p.m., then read the next line because that's got the name on it. And make sure that it's really a string. If it's somebody who we haven't seen so far in our hash registry, and they're not one of the people that we want to ignore, then add them, give them a number, and bump our person counter. And otherwise, keep on going and ignore any other lines that we don't know how to deal with. Like at the bottom of this file over here. Yeah, no. Bottom. Yeah, bottom of the file, there's a few lines that don't make any sense to the script. And that's the prompt for Ben Greenman to contribute to the conversation. So we just let those go. And one last thing to show you this whole, uh, if the name is ignored, don't add it. At the top, I just set it as an example to ignore my name. Copy that. Let me run it one more time just to show you. Voila, okay. And if more people type in chats, you can just copy the new text that comes in and paste that to the bottom of your file.
that's all I wanted to say. And I guess I better take care of this baby now. So bye-bye.